Today we're going to explore winter. Can you say winter? I am so excited to create some winter art. If you're excited, put up your hands. Woo! I am so excited too. Today we're going to learn how to spell the word winter. We're going to draw something for winter. We're also going to make a winter craft and we're going to, well actually, I'm going to make a winter painting just for you. So if you're excited, clap your hands because we're going to get started in this lovely art episode exploring winter. Let's get into it. going to get going on writing the word winter and drawing something for winter. So we're going to grab something to write with and we're going to spell the word winter. Let's begin with the letter W. W is the first letter in winter. Next, we're going to draw a letter I. So we're gonna draw one line down and a dot on the top. Next is N. So winter, winter. So we gotta draw the letter N. So we'll have a line down and a curving line up and over for w in and then t. Hmm, that sounds like a letter T. So we're gonna draw a line down and one line across for the letter T. So wind, t, and then we got er sound at the end, an er sound. And the two letters that make an er sound are E, R. So we'll have w, in, ter, E, R at the end. So we're going to draw one line across up in a big curve and a little curve below. And our letter R, we'll draw one line down and a nice little curve at the top for w-i-n-t-er, w-i-n-t-er, winter, winter. Perfect. Now can you think of anything that we could draw for winter? When you think of winter, what, do, what comes to mind? What do you think of when you think of winter? Hmm, <gasps> that's a great answer. I love all your ideas. Today, let's draw a snowman for winter. If you live somewhere where you have snow, you might make a snowman for winter. Let's draw a circle for snowman's head. Now, when you make a real snowman, they're never quite perfect. They're all kind of lumpy with the snow. So don't worry if your circle is a little bit not perfect or lumpy, because that is true for snowmen. Let's draw a nice big curving line below. That's for the middle section. And we need one big curve at the very bottom for snowman's body. And I love when snowman and all its parts are not the same. It really gives it character. Let's draw curving lines along the bottom to make snow. So that way snowman isn't floating. He's living in the snow. On the body, let's draw two lines out. 
And then we can add branches so we can draw little lines that go back in, here and there, and connect. And you can go out and in anywhere you want. And as many times, they don't have to be the same because branches from a tree aren't the same. On the face, we're going to draw a little curving line. We're going to draw two lines out and connect them to make a carrot nose. On either side, we're going to draw a circle. In each circle, we're going to draw another circle. And then we're going to color them in, leaving just the small circles nice and white. Draw dots to make snowman's smile. On the body, we're going to draw dots for buttons or circles for buttons. And if you want to be snowing in your artwork, you can draw some circles around your background to create snow falling around your art. Now we can color snowman any colors that we want. Often we think, well, snow is white, so there's not much to color. But we can add a little bit of shading to snowman using blue, so that way snowman looks round. So you can grab your favorite art making mediums to color with and go ahead and color in your snowman. to color very lightly along the bottom of each section of my snowman to create a shadow. You don't have to do this if you don't like it, but if you want to try it, go ahead and give it a try. You can even put a little bit of blue below it on the ground. Once you're done your snowman, you're ready to join me in creating a winter craft. All right, my lovely friends, let's dive in on our craft for winter. We're going to be making an Arctic fox. So we're gonna use a toilet paper roll without the toilet paper. And we're going to use some white paper. We'll need some scissors and glue or tape, white paper, any white paper's good, and then something to draw with and color with. I have my lovely felt markers. We're gonna take our white paper, and we're gonna fold it in half to make it the size of our toilet paper roll. So I'm gonna fold it portrait, or I mean landscape, <laughs> and also sometimes called hot dog. We're going to open it and we're going to cut it down the fold line. So we're always going to cut with the scissors open away from you. One hand to hold the scissors and one hand to do the cutting. And we carefully cut down the center of the paper, just like that. We're going to keep the other paper for now. We'll use part of it for the tail and the ears, and then we're going to save the rest in our craft bin. It's always good to keep our extra um, paper because then we can always use our bits and pieces for other things, and it's good to be aware of our environment. We're gonna grab our toilet paper roll, 
We're going to hold up our toilet paper roll to one end, and then we can either tape or glue it on. Sometimes it's quick if you have a little piece of tape just to get it going. We're going to roll it up just like when it was covered in toilet paper. Like that. Now it's white. And then we can glue or tape that side. Just like that. All right, so next, we're going to make two ears for our arctic fox and our tail. So on our extra white piece, we're going to draw two triangles with some smaller triangles on the inside. And before I cut it out, so it looks like this. Before I cut it out, I'm gonna color in that center part in the middle here, pink. Now I made them extra big because I'm gonna tape them down the inside so they'll kind of shrink. We just need to cut them out. Okay, save your piece of paper. And we're gonna add this to our fox. Here too. All right, next we need a tail. So we're gonna make with our piece of paper a nice bushy tail for our Arctic fox, and then we can go ahead and cut that out as well. One hand to cut, one hand to hold the paper. We do have a paper extra piece that we is all done, but it's a nice size. We're gonna keep that in our scrap paper bin so we can use it for other crafts or art projects when we just need a little piece, because that is still good to use. Anything that's too small, you can go ahead and recycle it. So we can be mindful of our planet. Next, we can add the tail on the back, but I want it to be peeking out, so I'm gonna have it like, just like this, so it's peeking out from the side like it would on a fox. All right, so now I have its body done with the ears and the tail and the body. And then we just need to draw on a face with our favorite drawing mediums. So we're gonna add a heart shape for the face. We're going to draw a nose with a mouth and two eyes. And then you can draw two little paws in the front. And just like that, your lovely Arctic Fox craft is done. All right, so I'm going to be creating a painting just for you, my gift for you. So sit back and relax and enjoy watching me end this episode with a lovely winter painting. And in this painting, we're going to be creating a snowflake with watercolor paints. A snowflake 
with watercolor paints.
Hello, my friend. Thank you so much for joining me in creating a lovely craft for winter, exploring a winter drawing, and creating some lovely winter art. I hope you enjoyed creating and exploring winter as much as I did. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful winter, and I'll see you in the next episode. And for more kids online art lessons and ideas, visit artastickids.com.